Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Your reading begins now. For those of you interested in winning one of the four readings that I'm giving away for the month of January, please check the description box below and we have your energy. You are feeling left in the cold, sad, and lonely. You feel as though you had manifested or you felt as though you had manifested the relationship you wanted. This is also you the desire that you have right now of having hearth, home, family, love, and you're just feeling very lonely, very cut off from the world. Your energy is that you have something to say to someone. It's a lot to say. You feel a little edge of anger here. You want to rush in and tell someone how they've made you feel. You do feel very very certain about what you want. Your person's energy here, Cancer, is a moon card. It's Pisces energy. We see them in a sort of a the attitude of, I just want to have fun. I don't want to get pulled under by my emotions. Um, they're, they're very defensive. That's Leo energy. We have Pisces and Pisces energy. So you may be dealing with the Pisces. The mutual energy in the relationship, actually this came out reverse, sorry, um, shows that at this time, both of you feel as though you should make a decision about the relationship, but it's highly unlikely that you will. The mutual energy right now is deciding not to decide. It's pretty flaky. The energy looks uh, really, really, you know, not grounded at all. It's the opposite of being grounded. We see this page, page energy. Uh, and, you know, when pigs fly, you'll be able to ground this. We also see the Magician card reverse, so there's a lack of truth and clarity here. We see ego-driven battles in your mutual energy, but we do see love. You know, the Nine of Cups is about love. That's, you know, eat, drink, be merry. When we add one more cup to it, we get a, a marriage card. So let's see what your overall outcome energy is before we clarify. So let's take a look for our Cancerians. Cancer, here you are, Queen of Cups, you're in your reading. All right, so let's look at the outcome card here and see what is going on for our Cancerians. Oh, remorse, regret, feeling as though you wish you had done something differently or your person does. So what is going on here? This is all about passion. It's not about stability. Eight of Wands is great, but it's only an initiator. It's not a way to live. Yeah, okay. So, Cancer, it looks as though there has been some deception here. Uh, it looks as though from um, the, re the reading that your person does feel underwater. They feel underwater legitimately. They want to be happy and they feel defensive. So we're going to have to clarify this, but it looks as though the two of you, both of you, your outcome is pain, regret, remorse over some passionate encounter. So for some of you, you may have met this person and thought that they could be your forever person only to realize that you got played. Um, you know, we look at the magician reversed as a mutual energy, you know, when pigs fly, you know, ego driven energy, you developed a great deal of affection for each other though. There is this, this is usually about friends. Your person appears to be underwater. They do care. There's a lot of caring here, but it looks as though someone may have lured you into, or you may feel as though you were lured into a friends with benefits relationship and that your person was not honest with you. They weren't forthcoming with you that, you know, they wanted friendship and they left a smoky trail. They left a lot to your imagination for you to figure out what they wanted. And they really wouldn't talk about it with you because when we get this card of you feeling left in the cold, you're releasing it, you're letting it go. I feel as though you're letting the circumstance go. You know, Cancer, you always have a pretty good idea of what you want. Tell us more about the Judgment card for Cancers. 
the devil energy. You're letting go of somebody that you thought really could love you, would love you. You're letting go of your expectations. You now feel as though this person had this devil energy that left you in the cold because they lied to you. You feel as though you, you do feel as though they owe you an apology. Why is Empress here? Well, you thought you could collaborate and have a relationship with this person. You felt as though you had what it took to go the distance in this relationship. And look at that. You really wanted to tell this person, you know, we could have made this work, but it looks as though, you know, it looks as though you will tell them. How are they going to feel when you do that? We have the Emperor card. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Clarifying the moon. This person does see you as a divine partner. They're ignoring it. Your person sees you as their divine partner and they're trying to ignore this. Look at this, the emperor and the empress right here. They know, I feel as though that the reason they're feeling pulled under the water is they use this big chess piece. You know, emperors tend to think they're the boss of everybody, you know, and they tend to think that, well, when I'm selfish and I look out for my own best interest, it's actually the best interest of everybody. And uh, that's not what happened here. It just isn't. I'm getting the king of pentacles. This person is a person who likes stability. You know, the King of Pentacles is someone who, that's a daddy card, that's a, a nurturing card. It's a card of somebody who's typically loyal. I feel as though they've been a really loyal friend. I feel as though the energy that I have here is that you had a relationship that was a friendship for a long time before you entered the more, um, you know, the intimate part, before you had passion. And I feel as though you your feeling about this was that you could trust this person. And I get this person really wasn't forthcoming with you. You know, the magician card is manifesting. They manifested a lot of fun with you. They feel as though you're, you are their happy place. They feel very joyful with you. But it, you know, we get this feeling that, you know, they definitely kept secrets. We also see two male energies here. So your person may have two sides to their personality. They may come across as a king of pentacles or they may have Taurus in their chart, but they may be more selfish than you thought. There's Leo here. That's a very powerful energy. That's major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. So your person is very, has a lot of deep emotion in this relationship. Why is it that the two of wands is reversed? You're both trying to maintain a friendship against all odds. You're trying to be cool, calm, and collected, Aquarius energy. Let's try to be enlightened. It's not going to work. You've got this when pigs fly, this will work. Okay, let's see here. Clarity needs to be brought to the situation. And somebody needs to tell the truth because I'm getting here, again, I'm getting that you know, what's required here? Oh, yes. So what is totally required here? Look at these cards. The same thing as your outcome. You have somebody who was dishonest, somebody who was flaky, flighty, someone who was not grounded. You need Libra energy. You need to bring honesty, integrity to the relationship. And this, this magician card is this person wasn't honest with you. They play, this is trickery when it's reversed. The Nine of Swords, both of you have remorse and regret. You know, it's like, as friends, you probably should have known that this could happen. Both of you should have known each other well enough to know that this was an ill-advised move to become lovers. And so when I get the Eight of Wands, you know, here, we get that somebody wants to come in very fast. But we get a lot of, we, there's so much pride, there's so much anger, there's so much hurt. Both of you are hurt, but I feel as though cancer, you're really, you feel victimized. Because you feel as though your person used you for passion. You feel as though your person used you to have fun. Knowing full well who you are and what you require and what makes you happy and what hurts you. 
Yep, I give, I get the burdens of the relationship are going to be dropped. There will be a decision made, the two of wands. You mutually are, you know, it looks as though mutually you're going to make a decision. The eight of wands, somebody's coming in here. Who is this? Which person is this? This is you, Cancer, in terms of wanting to solve the issue. Your person feels that you're a rock star. You're loved. You, oh my gosh, you love each other. All right, so tell us more. You both have to heal. We have Leo energy again. So there's a lot of pride that both of you have. Both of you also want to be part of one another's family. That's what the Leo energy is. The pride, the family. Both of you are underwater. There's such a lack of trust and so much deep emotion here. But you're going to throw caution to the winds. So what is it that you're going to achieve? Because you have hopes and dreams for love coming true. Oh, but this is raw. I don't know that you can easily forget this. It's going to take a time to heal. And I feel as though both of you are going to, you're going to try to heal. You're going to take time out from the relationship. It looks as though what you've planned is either time away with each other uh, or time away from each other for a period of time with the agreement of a time and a date to come together again to try to figure out what you're going to do in this relationship. But fire and water do not go together. You know, that, that sharp end of the spear goes into the water and it just misses. Both of you love each other incredibly. This is a very tough situation. Very tough. Leo, I mean, excuse me, Cancer, I just feel as though if you, if you cannot manifest this energy of divine partnership, then I just don't see you willing to do it. It would be too difficult for you. Your person does love you, and I think the biggest energy that I see here is a star card. Now, one of you could actually be a celebrity. I sometimes get that from clients for whom I'm reading. So I, I get that there may be the energy in all of this that, you know, you're not really being taken seriously. If you're married to a rock star, literally, then you may be married to this person and have all of these feelings wrapped up in the relationship. But for most of you, I feel as though you've been very dear friends. You've loved each other in a very incredible way that you're divine partners and you're going to have to make a decision. I see this is not really um, very clear right now. Every time you try to get clarity, it's like you go in a big circle and you come back again to the nine, you know, the nine of swords, Gemini energy, seven of swords, Aquarius energy, you know, the magician twice, once reversed. Okay, so let's see what the Oracle of the Ancestors has for you and the Ancients. Shift your perception, Cancer. Love and let yourself be loved, okay? Grow within your current situation. All right, well, Spirit has spoken. Spirit is advising you to stay put and to try to work on this. So let's see what the fairy, the heart of the fairy oracle has to say for you because we really need to see how safe you are, Cancer. Is Cancer safe in doing this? If Cancer follows the advice of Spirit, what's going to be the unfolding in this situation? The paradox, okay. So it does show the paradox, you know, there's not, you don't see this as having any clear cut perfect outcome. The hidden one, you need to get to know your partner better. This person has a lot that they hid from you and that's what you're finding out right now. Lady of the Unicorns, be exceptional. Own your beauty, own, own that which makes you you. Of two minds, 
you're really undecided as we leave this relationship and it looks as though you're going to take a wait and see yep the returning you want to see if this person can return to a place of love with you you definitely want to have that tink you're willing to be playful you're willing to be you know you're willing to have like a second honeymoon in your relationship with this person to see if it'll work the heartless love ah uh, okay you're you know you're i don't see this as your outcome card i see this as the journey that you're on you want to know if this person really loves you in the way that you need to be loved let's see what monology has about the heartless love because spirit is is advising you to try to make this work spirit is advising you to see where you what you can achieve right now take time to breathe okay so that is you know take time to breathe is this I'm going to use Lenormand. Okay, I want a more definitive answer. How trustworthy is this heartless love? Tell us something about this card. Don't give up. Okay, good. You know, we're seeing that, you know, the heartless love is more your feeling because spirit is saying, trust in destiny fortune will never let you down so according to spirit you should go ahead and, and try to make this work you know tell me what you think in the comments below that will help you enter the contest also sending you love from chicago cancer send some back and tell me where you're from thank you